Yo, Weathering Waves gamers, Hoyo players that are interested in Weathering Waves, we've got a new developer message. If you didn't know, they recently sent out the closed beta test 2 uh, invitations. Your boy is in. I already knew I was going to, you know, I already knew I was locked in, but you know, um, they did just send out the invitation. So do check for that if you um, were interested in that and you applied for that. But they did send out a developer message recently, probably just telling us uh, about like how they've been working on the game because, you know, they did like a full rework. Yeah, this is like, um, this is the process over the past 10 months, so I just kind of want to read over this and give my thoughts on it, pretty much. So, um, greetings rovers, it's been a while since the previous Weathering Waves beta test. Okay. First and foremost, we would like to express our gratitude to each and every one of you who have been following and supporting the development of Weathering Waves. During this interlude, our team has made extensive changes, adjustments, and optimizations to the game contents based on feedback and suggestions we've received from you. Before you embark on the next round of testing, we would like to share with you a summary of our development process over the, the past 10 months, and also a few sneak peeks of some new content that will be featured in the second close beta test. Okay, okay, okay. So we got story revision. Um, they added a skip button. Also, if the above changes necessary, modifications also were, uh, needed to be made to overall story flow, animation, voiceover, and other resources. Ooh, I like a skip button. I like a skip button. They said the story, um, I think they said part of the story is not going to be voice. Like some main story stuff is not going to be voice because they're working on voice actors still. Unless it was just certain languages aren't going to be voiced. I forgot what the specifics where it was. Ooh, this is completely new though. I'm assuming this is Gion Story Quest. This looks crazy. Well, hold up. And I guess we're getting a picture with him after we finish the quest. I see. This looks cool. I like this. I really like that. This area looks sick too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's going on here. What else? Improvements to combat. Combat system from the previous beta was well received by the community. Using it as a foundation, we have made some optimizations to the overall combat loop. Experience centered around the intro skill, outro skill. Detailed adjustments were made to aspects such as character skill effects, general combat mechanics, screen shaking, camera lock on, etc. Yeah, they needed to, the combat of Weathering Waves was fire, but the thing they needed to work on was like UI. The first UI was pretty, it was pretty basic and like could definitely be like more unique and like revolutionized. I'm assuming this is also making it so you don't have to wait for bosses to spawn right here. That seems pretty good. Another thing Wuwa needs to have, um, like for Genshin example, they need to make it so if you're farming for a character, it's not day-based. Day-based farming is super outdated. That needs to get changed. I should not want to build a character and oh, because I didn't sign on on Wednesday, I, I can't build anything about the character because all their mats were on the previous day. That's just such an outdated system. Um, next thing though, three new resonators, uh, Jinjin, Ling Yang, and Kao Charo. I don't even know who Kao Charo is. I've been introduced to the game for player experience along with three new bosses, okay. The Impermanence, Heron, Mech Abomination, and Tempest Mephis. Plus a new phase for Scar. I think Scar is the boss at the end. Okay, okay, okay. Our goal is for players, regardless of skill level, to appeal for action games, to become engaged as quickly as possible, and fully experience the smooth and satisfying combat Weathering Waves has to offer. Okay, I this boss this boss fight looks cool. This fight like this big ape gorilla thing. That looks pretty sick. Uh, graphics quality improvements. I did say they made the world a lot more colorful, which is pretty nice. Ooh, it's got some new areas: the Etheric Sea, Celestial Anomaly, and the Retract Rain. Okay, okay. That seems nice. That seems nice. Optimizations to echoes in new in-game events. Oh yeah, I seen they made it so echoes can have like shinies and stuff. That is sick. They definitely, they definitely cooked with that. They definitely cooked with the shiny echoes. Um, compared to the previous test, we've included a dedicated tutorial guide for the echo system. That was also needed because the echo system, you didn't even know it was artifacts before. You had to like find that out. Um, while also lowering the difficulty of discovering and obtaining echoes, after obtaining an echo for the first time, the chance of reobtaining it in the same tacit field will be increased the more you challenge it. Okay, the current echo kit adopts a tag-based system, which makes for versatile combination of strategies based on the circumstances. Players will now also have the opportunity to encounter and collect elusive echoes. This is the shinies. Final name may vary in game. These echoes possess special appearances and features, but we won't spoil them just yet. Ah, oh, so this is the shiny version of this. 
or the elusive. That looks pretty sick. I don't even know what this is. Some like bird thing. This looks like an Elden Ring enemy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this looks like an Elden Ring like a, uh, like final boss or something. That looks crazy. Okay. There's also gonna be limited time in-game events that will be based on the echoes. Okay, okay. Yeah, this train thing looks cool. We didn't have this before. I'm assuming that's gonna be for the event. Like this area looks sick, like with the grass and everything. I hope it looks that clean in game, cause that looks crazy. Um, and then we got this last bit down here. As the game is currently in its development phase, some of the content players experience are still work in progress builds, which may lead to unpleasant game experiences. It's gonna be a beta. Players will find some voiceover content for the characters and storyline asset within the game. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Rest assured, these contents are undergoing rigorous development as we perform further improvements to the game. Players participating in the beta test from mobile devices may experience increased power consumption, overheating, and other issues for certain devices, cross-platform performance, various UI interfaces, in-game text localizations, and existing voiceovers will also undergo further optimizations down the line. Okay, okay. Weatherways is definitely cooking. I'm definitely hyped. I will be there for in two days, streaming the beta, very long stream very very long stream trying out everything seeing everything new um doing dungeon gaming dungeon's my favorite character she's got like a berserker kit and i like berserker kits i would definitely be playing dungeon a lot and i guess the other whichever five star i get because uh they gave you enough for a five star when you started last time after you got to like the story so i'm assuming they'll do that again um Thank you for being a part of the Weather and Waste community. We hope to see you in the upcoming closed beta test. Yeah, but I'll be there. Twitch.tv slash Gib. Come through and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.